What's up guys, Graham here, and we're going to go over the Physician PvP guide real fast, as I've been promising for the last week, and I'm sure you guys have been waiting on it. Uh, but first, let me remind you guys that in the last Saturday video, we are giving away a 700 credit pack prize. So if you leave your name and server in the comment section below in that video, you are entered into the contest and if you win you get to select something from the rift store that's 700 credits or less and we'll send it to you in the mail it could be anything from like the 150 percent mounts to whatever you know whatever you would like and we'll get it to you so make sure that you enter in into that contest and also we're doing a contest every well a giveaway every saturday video so make sure that you watch the next saturday video so that you get in on the giveaway on that one too so let's get right into this physician build and let me put a disclaimer out there and say that there are many different builds and uh, you should use whichever that you like the most because a lot of people are going really high into Rift Stalker for a little bit more tankiness and some people are going high into Tactician so that they get more AOE heals and stuff like that. So. This build here is actually the build that Viral posted in his video that he got from Slow Shots. Um, it, I ran with a bunch of different uh, physician builds and this is the one that I like the most because it's more catered around keeping you alive because you're going to be the one that's focused, targeted by all the DPS normally. So as long as you can keep yourself alive, you can heal everybody else with great single target heals and some uh, AOE heals as well. But as you can see, go 61 into physician. And uh, mind you, all of the macros and the build will be in the description below this video. So make sure that you check out down there if you're having a hard time seeing the screen or you want an easy reference. So go down there, we'll have the link to the soul trees as well as all of the macros and you'll have to watch the video to learn how to play it though. Okay, 61 into physician there, we go 9 into bard which is 5 into good health, uh, 2 into stage presence, and 2 into street performer which is going to allow us to heal ourselves for more whenever we're at 30% life or less. So it's really good for keeping uh, keeping us alive. Um, all right, we go six into Rift Stalker over here, which is five into Unseen Fury, and one into Great Fortitude. There goes your Soul Tree, guys, and we're going to trek right along and go right into the macros here. All right, our macros are. This is our main builder here, and all of the macros are going to be in the description below, like I said. But make sure that you take out these last three casts at the bottom of the macro because that is my planar abilities. And if you do not have them, then don't put them into your macro. Uh, but basically, this macro should be ba uh, mass detox, uh, urgent care, and active treatment. And I put mass detox into my spam macro because it's like every 10 seconds it's up and it's an AOE cleanse and you pretty much want to use it every time it's off a of cooldown anyway so you might as well put it into your spam macro uh, and then we got urgent care which is a little bit bigger of a heal than active treatment but it's on a cooldown so we want to go ahead and pop it every time that it's off a of cooldown so it is into our spam macro and then active treatment and then we go into our normal finisher here and our finisher has uh, for us to cast adrenaline shot first before we do our normal finisher. And the reason why I put that into my finisher macro is, is because I want to keep my energy up at all times. And every time this thing is off a of cooldown, I want to use it. So if I put it into my finishers, it'll pretty much guarantee that I'm using it every time that it's off a of cooldown or immediately afterwards. So uh, our main finisher is going to be maintenance uh, therapy, which applies a big heal and also a heal over time onto the person. So it's a really good normal finisher. And then we go into our AOE finisher. This is what you want to use if you've got a group around you or uh, you're in CQ or something like that. 
So this will apply adrenaline shot once again and then goes into group therapy and that's your AOE uh, heal finisher. All right, now we've got a bigger finisher that we can cast, but it's more of a panic finisher for me. What I do is I cast pre a precise diagnosis and then cast massive therapy. Now what this does is a uh, precise diagnosis instantly gives you five combo points and massive therapy applies a bigger heal than your normal finisher but it's on a cooldown so you can't just uh, use it as your normal finisher so what i do is while i'm healing people i'll apply well do my spam and then hit my finisher and then if i need to heal somebody immediately afterwards with a big heal and i don't want to pop my big oh crap buttons then I'll go ahead and hit this and it'll instantly give me five combo points so I can uh, throw the big hill on the people with this finisher. Alright, then we have our panic button which is uh, it casts emergency response first and what that does is it restores a hundred percent of the life to the target uh, of your health to the target so if your health is normally like 25,000 or whatever, it'll throw a 25,000 hit point heal onto somebody. The second ability is biofeedback. Now, I'm kind of on the ropes about biofeedback. Uh, it's, it's an awesome heal and stuff like that, but I hate anything that is a channeled ability or with a cast timer because that allows you to be interrupted. It allows you to be uh, silenced with those interrupts. And if you get a marksman on you or something like that and you're casting cast time abilities, then they're going to interrupt you and silence you for a long time. And that may kill off your entire group if that happens. So biofeedback is good enough to keep on here, but it's also one of those things that you need to keep an eye out on if you're hitting this quite often and you got somebody that's uh, using one of those interrupts that also debilitates you. Uh, the third button is third uh, cast there is life insurance, which uh, it's an absorb. Which, if the target receives a killing blow, then it also gets healed for 50% of their life. So it's good enough to be on the panic list here, but it's at the last. So, all right, um, I believe that's all of our macros. So let's go into the buffs here. We got preventative medication, uh, simultaneous treatment, plane bound resilience, and fanfare of vigor. And uh, the other buff that we keep on our bar is supportive care, which supportive care is a very powerful buff, but now you cannot use it on yourself. So you have to use it on an ally, use it on another healer, or uh, a squishy, or if you're pocket healing somebody, you can put it on your, po uh, your pocket healing target. So what that does is it puts a absorption shield onto uh, the person that you have buffed with this every time you cast a heal, basically. A uh, single target, physician heal, or absorb. So it's huge. All right, let's go into what's on our bar here. We got our main spam here, which is uh, first cast mass T-Tox and all that. And then uh, this is going to be casting your instant uh, abilities. Uh, then your main finisher, uh, macro. And then I went ahead and uh, put my panic finisher on there. That's going to give me instantly five combo points and cast that big finisher. And then we got intensive care. This is what you pop whenever everybody is taking a lot of damage and you need to pop a lot of healing right off the bat. This increases your uh, builders and finishers uh, to where they heal. Or, uh, the healing or absorption is increased by 50% for 10 seconds. So pop that whenever you need to heal a lot of people really fast. And yeah, it's really good. Detoxification, which is your uh, normal cleanse. So whenever you're needing a spot cleanse, whenever mass detox is down or whatever. Uh, there's our panic button, which is emergency response cast first. And then we got a mass blood transfusion, which that's an AOE uh, damaging ability. Uh, 
so you can pull out stealthers and all that good stuff. And then we got Shadow Shift. And then, of course, Break Free on a separate button. Do not put it into your macros, people. Do not do it. Uh, then we have Surgical Strike. Okay, this is uh, Instant Attack, which you normally never want to use, but we are going to be using it for the sake of interrupting flag cappers. If you do not have an Instant Attack on your bar somewhere, then you are going to be the fail on your team whenever somebody's capping right in, uh, capping a flag right in front of your face and you can't hit them one time to interrupt them. So I put Surgical Strike on a button so I can hit somebody if I need to interrupt them. Uh, Kiss of Life is another ability that we're putting onto our bars, which is our Battle Res. And it brings your uh, target back to life with 50% health and mana, and it's usable in uh, combat. And then we got our AoE Finisher, which is really good. I like to use it in Conquest and stuff like that. All right, so right as we're going into how to build this, I do have to say that there is one ability that everybody seems to be using and I will never use. It is a uh, causal treatment there. And what that does is it's uh, a builder for people, and but it's a 1.5 second cast time. So it heals for a, a decent amount for a builder and it also awards two combo points. The problem is, is that you're going to get interrupted and you're going to get silenced like crazy if you do this. If you have uh, anybody focusing you, which you're a healer, you are going to have people focusing you. You're going to be interrupted. You are going to, a lot of people's interrupts also debilitate you or silence you at the same time. So if you are doing anything with a cast timer, most likely you're opening yourself up to be debilitated. And that's probably going to kill you or your group or both. So don't use it in my opinion. Use it if you want to though. I'm not your boss. So how do we play this? Very, very simple. What we do is we use three buttons. That's right, three buttons is all you really need to use with this. Uh, the other abilities are all really good, but there are only three buttons that you need to make this an awesome build anyway. Everything else is just added to it. Um, basically, you just hit your spam button, which will cleanse everybody. It'll heal quite a bit. And it's just awesome all together. You're just spamming, spamming, spamming. And this is, uh, you target somebody and go ahead and spam that. As soon as you get your five combo points, go ahead and hit your finisher. And then back to the instant heals. And then go right back into your finisher as soon as you get it up. And it'll throw a big heal on somebody and a hot onto them. So that's all you have to do until they get really low in life. Then you go ahead and hit your panic button, which is the one that has your emergency response macro. And then you pop that and it'll throw a huge heal onto somebody. And if somebody else is getting really low, you can pop biofeedback onto them, which is also on your panic button. So you've got basically your builder your finisher and your panic button that's all you really need to cast uh the other stuff is just really good such as your precise diagnosis macro if you need to throw a big heal onto somebody in a in a tight situation uh your intensive care if you really need to pump out a lot of heals really fast um of course your b res and all that but really it's just a three button build and you're going to be able to heal everybody like crazy so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the build. That's it. You know, hit those three buttons and enjoy life. Because you're going to be so hard to kill. You're going to be healing for a ton. And I do have to say that you want to use a Physician Synergy Crystal. And also, I like to stack Endurance Runes on my armor. Because that's going to make you very, very tanky. And you're going to be focus fired a lot as a healer. So, Enjoy being a healing machine and the nightmare of all of your enemies because you're going to be healing your team to greatness. And make sure that you hit the like button down there, the thumbs up if you found this video uh, helpful and enjoyable. 
and make sure that you're subscribed and if you're new to rift if you're wanting to try rift out make sure that you use my link below that way that you're put on all my friends list in the game and also we both get rewards for you joining through that link and yeah and if you're really generous if you're really awesome and you want to prove it there is a donation button down there a donation link Go ahead and send me a dollar or something like that if you think my builds are awesome and I'm helping you out a lot because you would rock if you did that. Okay. See you guys. As usual, my name is Grim, and I'll see you guys next time.